the departure of the Romans and the successful Anglo-Saxon invasion, the island took on a new identity. The largest of the tribes, the Angles, contributed the name for the new land, Angolot. This evolved into England. The Germanic languages of the Anglos, Saxons, Jutes, and Frisians were so closely related that it didn't take long for the different tribes to consolidate their languages into a single language. The largest of the tribes again contributed the name for the new language, Anglish. This evolved into English. The language of Anglish, which linguists have dubbed Old English, was a language of simple single-syllable words that was rooted in the land. Most of the words that we retain in English today have to do with the farm, the home, and the village. Some examples are sun, moon, day, night, earth, land, plow, wife, home, child. The first literature in the English language was recorded at this time, Beowulf. This new language, English, developed over the next 400 years. Then, in the mid to late 800s, the Vikings, Danes, led a series of successful raids in the northern parts of the island. In order to keep peace and prevent more bloodshed, the Anglo-Saxon king, King Alfred, agreed to a compromise with the Norwegian warlord Guthrum the Old. This peace treaty came to be known as the Dane Law. The Dane Law essentially cut the island into a northern and a southern section. The Danes ruled the north, and the Anglo-Saxons ruled the south. But this peaceful resolution did not last. In less than a hundred years, the Anglo-Saxons had pushed out the Danes. Even so, the Danes put their stamp upon the language. The language of the Danes, Old Norse, contributed several words to the language. Some examples are ransack, slaughter, dirt, rotten, anger, and run. Tells you something, huh? Also, several of the names for the days of the week are named after Norse gods. Tuesday is Tears Day, Wednesday is Odin's Day, Thursday is Thor's Day, and Friday is Freya's Day. So we can thank the Vikings for Friday. Unfortunately, the Anglo-Saxons' rule over the island only lasted another 100 years. Another attacker, William the Conqueror, swooped in from Normandy, the coast of France, in 1066, and the Anglo-Saxons were soundly defeated. Next time, we will discuss how William the Conqueror and the Normans forever changed the English language.